ISFJ stands for introvert, sensing, feeling and judging. They are nicknamed the defender, the protector or the nurturer because of their keen interest in the welfare of others. Like most introverts, ISFJs are reserved. Nevertheless, they have the tendency to be mistaken for extroverts. This is because of how their qualities defy the definition of individual traits. They also have well-developed people skills and strong social relationships. This is due to their ability to connect with individuals on an intimate level above other introverted types. They possess the sensitive trait but are quite analytical, usually to the surprise of those they come in contact with. ISFJs are also receptive to change, although they are generally conservative. This is often as a result of their desire to be helpful under different circumstances. People with the ISFJ personality type are easily recognizable by their humility and understated diligence and loyalty. Here are some of the strengths and weaknesses of an ISFJ, and we are starting right now. Ubermind is on our way to 1k subscribers. Support from you will be amazing, thank you. Strengths. Number 1. Supportive. ISFJs are social introverts and feel uncomfortable when they are under the spotlight. They would very much prefer to volunteer and work on the sidelines. And behind the scenes where they can comfortably do what they love. They are incredibly supportive and take joy in helping others learn and grow as a person. As parents, partners, friends, students, workers, entrepreneurs, neighbors, community members, public servants and citizens, ISFJs always strive for excellence. And it is the inclusivity and comprehensiveness of their vision that forms their identity and gives them their unique ability to brighten every corner of the worlds they inhabit. Number 2. Observant. Their empathetic nature allows them to observe their surroundings keenly, and recognize if someone is in pain, happy, or depressed by looking at their facial expressions. ISFJs will then know how to respond, and this makes them a good friend and a listener. ISFJ personality types tend to do well in a career involving counseling, teaching, and psychology because of these ISFJ personality traits. With a keen memory, an eagle's eye for observation and an absolute determination. To account for every detail, ISFJs are practical workers par excellence. Number 3. Reliable. Combined with their other strong traits, ISFJs are sure to be able to accomplish their work. They are hardworking and are dedicated to ensuring that their work is completed. They even go through such lengths to give more than what is asked for. They make a great addition to any team since they are cooperative and choose harmony and peace over long-standing arguments. In business and personal relations, ISFJs are straight shooters who say what they mean and mean what they say. Their word is as good as gold. Number 4. Hardworking. Hard workers understand the importance of taking initiative. Intense and serious when a task needs to be completed. ISFJs are super competent go-getters who bring a hard-nosed approach to their work that can sometimes seem excessive to others. But it's important to remember that ISFJs care deeply about people. When an ISFJ puts her game face on it is a sign that she believes what she is doing will improve people's lives and is worth taking seriously. ISFJs, perfectionists as they are, tend to put their own health on the line and overwork themselves to meet beyond expectations or until they are satisfied that they have done an excellent job. Weaknesses. Number 1. Overworking. People with the ISFJ personality traits tend to put a lot on their plate. 
as it is difficult for them to say no or decline people's request to help them. Workaholic ISFJs can be driven to distraction by their perfectionist tendencies. And even on those rare occasions when they manage to tear themselves away from the office and return home for a while, they will continue to obsess over their latest project or assignment, leaving them too distracted and preoccupied to enjoy their free time. Number 2. Too loyal. ISFJs struggle with letting go, and have a tendency to stay in it to the bitter end. Convinced that this is the only honorable thing to do. Whatever the case is, you put others first, not because you think you're less deserving, but simply because you're innately thoughtful and prefer to prioritize the well-being of others. Number 3. Take things personally. When we personalize, we see the world happening not just around us but to us. And not just to us, but because of us. ISFJs are very private people, bordering on the shy. And this does not always mesh well with more open, unpredictable personality types. They have trouble dealing with conflict and a tendency to take even minor criticism personally. Combined with their stubborn streak, this can leave ISFJs feeling vulnerable and put upon. And they may resort to judgmental criticism themselves as a defense mechanism. Number 4. Repressive. Repression is the active but unconscious forgetting of unacceptable drives, emotions, ideas, or memories. This is beneficial since ISFJ personalities are very, very private and are fond of internalizing their own feelings and actions. They are sensitive and the need to protect their emotions just as much as they protect others. They think they do not feel the need for expressing their thoughts, as they do not want any attention focused on them. This may lead to bottling up their emotions and could create unnecessary frustrations on their part. It may even lead to health problems in the long run, which is another reason why counseling can be such an asset to an ISFJ. Number 5. Shyness. ISFJs tend to be shy and reserved. They become secretive about their ideas, plans, and identities. They figure the less they show the world, the less criticism they will face and the less people will try to change them. They may appear isolative, eccentric, guarded, mysterious, self-absorbed, and or resentful. Getting through a workday and forming relationships can be strenuous and overwhelming for them. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. So, was this video helpful? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Also, be sure to check our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.